County Coroner's Office in a unique position right now. As the county grows, so do the number of cases. The office is going to handle about 600 deaths this year, and we're told a handful of the remains won't be claimed. Fox News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick talked with Dr. Brian Pierce, the coroner there in Baldwin County, to explore what he found is not just a space problem, but also a problem of morality. Inside what appears to be nothing more than a broom closet at the Baldwin County Coroner's Office are shelves lined with the remains of 53 souls. All have been identified and cases on their deaths closed, but all still wait to find their final place of rest. Some of these individuals may have lived alone. They may have no family or any contact with their family. Some of these individuals may have been abandoned um, and not claimed. Um, so th there's a variety of reasons why no one would come forward or no one's there to honor their final wishes on disposition. In his 14 years with the coroner's office, Dr. Brian yeah. Pierce has investigated thousands of unnatural deaths. In cases like these, he's only required by law to hold on to the remains for 180 days before he can either scatter the ashes or have them interned. After looking at both options, Pierce decided to approach it in another way. Neither one uh, really fit my personal beliefs. And each year, we'll have three or four people come forward that would say, hey, that was my best friend in high school. That was my next door neighbor as a kid. I would like to claim them and intern them appropriately and give them final rest. That happened as recently as last month. It's Dr. Pierce's hope that money can soon be allocated for a new coroner's office. That's where he would like to build a memorial vault in which the remains can be stored until they're officially interned or placed into a mausoleum on a county-owned cemetery site. To give them the dignity they deserve in death, uh, I think that's an important thing, and, and not be just sitting on a rack. Um, so, yeah, space. Space, I, I would really like to make it a, uh, a memorial to the gone but not forgotten. That's where I want it to be. The remains on these shelves are not victims of crimes, but there have been others that were. Who's to recognize the gratitude held by right? families, oh, we only correct. have to no, look no. at the death of Daniel Munez Jr. He was the victim of a violent act and went unidentified for many years. He was buried in a county plot in a Foley Cemetery in 2000. 22 years later, his daughter was able to find him because the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office had uploaded pictures of his tattoos to a national database. She had never given up hope and found peace and closure with his discovery. The graveyard is peaceful. It's very pretty. It's very well kept. It's even got a tombstone. There's a lot of people in the world who have family who don't even have a tombstone. So I feel like the county that he's in did him justice. Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Mm. And Dr. Pierce says with some luck and fundraising, he has high hopes that a new and more spacious facility will be in the near future.